I love studying material science at UIC because there is such good opportunities for me to get my hands on state-of-the-art research projects as well as instrumentation. UIC is the, the largest public research university in the city of Chicago. Uh, and we are also a minority serving institution. And really the advantage of being in the city of Chicago is that we are um, not just um, isolated here on campus of, of UIC, but we are part of this broader consortium of other universities in the city of Chicago and really leverage the instrumentation that we have here at all three institutions in the maximum way. The nanoscale physics group at UIC focuses on examining materials at the atomic structure, and we also look at these materials at extremes of temperature. So we look at them at liquid nitrogen temperatures and at up to 1,000 degrees Celsius, and we examine how changing the temperature of these materials changes their behavior at the atomic scale. The group focuses on materials characterization um, for, of, of materials that are uh, used in renewable energy production, storage, as well as address problems in fundamental and matter physics, including magnetism, superconductivity, and two-dimensional materials. Working with this group, I had the opportunity to see what research is nowadays and what does it really mean to be a physicist and what does the job, uh, like how you can uh, apply those knowledge you learn in class into real-world problems. What's special about Robert's group is they always have the new ideas. The research, they, they push you to advance. It's a lot of fun to work. So we have undergrad students, grad students, postdocs. So it's always fun uh, to, to hang around with the group and also with the boss as well. <laughs>Developments that I'm really excited about, and, and one is funded by the National Science Foundation Ceramics Grant, uh, and that is to has to do with nanoscale thermometry. So uh, this is an, a, an approach where we can actually measure the temperature of a sample on the local level. One of the newest developments we have in instrumentation is this liquid cell holder that does simultaneous heating and electrochemistry to enable our experiments. And really this allows us to look at, at um, the temperature and thermal transport potentially across interfaces at resolutions that are not previously attainable. Now there is a, an, a real application for that and uh, this has to do with rechargeable batteries. So we are looking at uh, ways to revolutionize the rechargeable battery market based not just on lithium but we're looking at so-called multivalent um, ion batteries and these are based on magnesium or calcium. So, so that's the most exciting part, that if we could get these kind of batteries to work, they will incre increase our energy density and would be like a new revolutionary technology that we can rely on. In addition to um, that uh, research, we also uh, used the NSF Ceramics Grant to look at novel two-dimensional materials. So we are collaborating with a group at the University of Chicago to look at, at novel Maxine materials. These are ceramic materials that consist of, of titanium and, and carbon in our case. And these are really uh, intriguing two-dimensional materials, layered materials, where we can put novel kind of groups in between these layers of titanium carbon. Aside from the capability we have with the liquid cell, uh, experiments with heating and electrochemistry, we actually have a cryo capability as well. This allows us now to put materials that are um, containing a liquid and a solid uh, and look at this interface uh, and, and really prepare electromicroscopy samples of those materials in the frozen state. And that allows us to stabilize the material so that we can look at it with the electron microscope. It's opened up kind of a new section of, of discovery where traditionally materials that were too sensitive to analyze are now being analyzed at the atomic scale. I'm actually managing this uh, entire electron microscope facility. A centralized research facility like us can provide like equal access of this cutting edge instrumentation to all users. Not just UIC user, but nationwide to industry user as well. It's, it's really exciting. The, the work is really rewarding, and when you take a step back and think about what you're doing and what you're looking at in the microscope, it's mind-boggling. And there's always such an open and sharing environment going on. I've learned so much from 
experts in my group on uh, imaging and analysis. As I said, being able to use this experience to figure out what being a physicist showed me that this is actually what I want to do, what I like doing. I just love being here. <laughs>